Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peace and blessings. By the time this video is going to come out, tomorrow, whether that be Thursday or Friday, will be the start of the holy month of Ramadan, where Muslims all over the world will be coming together to fast from sunup to sundown and hopefully engage in some extracurricular, supererogatory acts of worship. Now, undoubtedly, Ramadan this year is going to be quite unique in a way that perhaps no one alive has ever experienced before. We're living and experiencing a pandemic together as a community, and this Ramadan is going to have unique experiences. Usually during Ramadan, we have communal dinners, iftar, and nightly prayers at the mosque of Tarawih. But unfortunately, this year we won't be able to do that. And so with these unique challenges, we also have unique opportunities. We also have the ability to find new ways to connect with our traditional ways that we weren't before. As Rumi once said that the traveler, the seeker, is a person of the present moment. And in our present moment, we have to find ways to make this Ramadan be beneficial and enriching for us. The 14th century scholar Ibn Rajab, he mentions that the purposes of Ramadan are primarily reconnecting with God, strengthening our connection with the divine, and then overcoming our challenges and our deficiencies within internally as individuals. And so those opportunities, those purposes have not been removed. We still are able to do those things. And so while we may not be able to pray in the mosque the way that we used to, we still can pray at night. Even if we only know one chapter of the Quran, we can still recite that and then spend longer time in supplication. We can read the Quran just as we try to do every single year. We can make supplication, we can pray, make dua, and we can ask God for whatever we want or whatever our heart so desires. But also internally, we can challenge ourselves emotionally and spiritually to know ourselves better and therefore from that get to know the divine better. This is an opportunity for us to become better human beings both internally and externally. And so with this unique challenge of Ramadan of 1441 Hijri or 2020 in the Gregorian calendar, this should be an opportunity for us to set a bookmark in our lives. It should be an opportunity for us to reap the absolute most out of this Ramadan so that when we look back in the future or from the future, we will know how much and how unique this Ramadan was and how much we're going to be able to get out from it. This Ramadan is immensely challenging on many, many levels. But perhaps one of the most unique challenges, not just of Ramadan to come, but also out of living in quarantine, is experiencing family in this very intimate way in which we don't have the escapes of going to school or going to work or both of them together. We're with our family and our loved ones day in and day out. And so I think that is an opportunity. Those community dinners that we so often yearn for in Ramadan, we masjid hop and we check out the different MSAs and who's got the best biryani and curry. Can we do that with our family and challenge ourselves to eat together, to fast together, to break our fast together, to pray together, but to just be in loving community with our family. This opportunity for us this Ramadan is one that is incredibly unique because there's nowhere else for us to go. So the, the challenge for us is going to be finding connection with the divine in these uniquely, temporarily unique opportunities. As Sayyidina Ali, the nephew of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Whoever knows themselves knows the divine, and whoever knows the divine knows themselves. And so as we, actually his cousin, as we are trying to increase in spirituality, increase in our God consciousness and connection with the divine in this month of Ramadan, let's not forget the opportunity to get to know ourselves better as individuals, 
and work together as a community to strengthen our bonds, to strengthen our relationships with our families, with those whom we connect with digitally online, and with ourselves. So Ramadan Mubarak, happy Ramadan, and I hope that we are able to still connect, whether it be digitally or otherwise, and that we are able to have a successful and beneficial Ramadan. Please reach out if I can be of any service to you or your family, and I hope to hear from you soon. Take care.